With the fort commander's two men flanking him, Van Dye the Van set out to look around the Tanjore fort. He had no doubt that they were coming with him to make sure he didn't run away. There is no doubt that there was an order to ensure that no one was allowed to go out through the gate of the fort. But he had to escape before that night. Once the great predator arrives, escape is next to impossible, survival will be impossible. So when Van Diadeva wandered around and amused himself inside the Tanjavur fort, his mind was thinking of ways of escape. First escape from these Yamakangaras, then, escape from the fort. How to escape? That is unknown. In hindsight, escaping from them is not a big deal. Both men can be hit and run away in a split second. But where to run? It is a well-known news that the Tanjore fort has been strengthened by the invaders. People used to say that even the wind could not enter Tanjore fort without their permission. Emperor himself said this morning that Yama also cannot come. How to get from such a fortress? Both of these need to be touched upon, they will start shouting immediately. In the next moment you will go to the nether prison, or may die. There is no use attacking them, escape by trickery without attacking. After that escape you have to find a way out of the fort. No matter how strong a fortress is, there is no secret tunnel. How to find it? Who would have known that? If anyone knows, will they tell him? As I was thinking about various things like this, I suddenly remembered the Isla Irani of Pavur. Aha! If anyone would help her inside that fort, it would be the Matarasi who would do it. He doubted that too. But you can do any Tantrum Mantra by saying the name of Alvar Kadayan. In order to see that, you must first find the palace of the Great Punisher. Even if he finds out, he must not know that he is going there to see the Queen. If they come to know, they will go and tell the miners. Who saw what mischief would come from it? Perhaps, what if he himself had come while the Great Reaper was in the palace? Is it like going into the lion's den and giving the head? While Vandiyadeva's mind was thinking, his mouth and eyes were not idle. What is that? What is this, whose palace is that, whose mansion is this, what building is this, what tower is that? His mouth kept asking. His ears were keenly listening for the reply, this is the palace of the great Palyavetarayar or Pavyavar Ila Irani palace. His eyes were carefully looking this way and that. When he saw something like that, one thing stuck in his mind through his eyes. Although the main streets within the fort are wide and full of traffic, there are many alleyways. Wooded plantations also abounded. It is not an impossible task to pass through those alleys and hide in the thick gardens. It was possible for him to remain in hiding for a day or two. But hide when no one is looking, no one should be searching. It was impossible for the small predator to remain hidden once his countless men had been launched in search of him. Or to take refuge in someone's house. Who would give him shelter inside the Tanjore fort? If the Queen of Pavur gives it, she gives it. He has to use all his imagination and tell her a story and make her believe. First, you have to escape from them. But hide when no one is looking, no one should be searching. It was impossible for the small predator to remain hidden once his countless men had been launched in search of him. Or to take refuge in someone's house. Who would give him shelter inside the Tanjore fort? If the Queen of Pavur gives it, she gives it. He has to use all his imagination and tell her a story and make her believe. First, you have to escape from them. But hide when no one is looking, no one should be searching. It was impossible for the small predator to remain hidden once his countless men had been launched in search of him. Or to take refuge in someone's house. Who would give him shelter inside the Tanjore fort? If the Queen of Pavur gives it, she gives it. He has to use all his imagination and tell her a story and make her believe. First, you have to escape from them. He has to use all his imagination and tell her a story and make her believe. First, you have to escape from them. He has to use all his imagination and tell her a story and make her believe. First, you have to escape from them. Aha! What slogan is this? 
What demonstration is this, Dasho? Who are these people who are going in such a crowd? God! No doubt you are by my side. Here is a way. Here comes a companion. When he came to a turn in the crossroad, Vandiyadeva thought as above when he saw a large mob marching along the main road with chants of instrumental chants and slogans. He came to know that those who had gone in the gang were Vilakara soldiers. It seems they leave the fort after having darshan of the Maharaja as usual. If he also attends this meeting. Aha! What better way to escape than this? Those who come behind will not give up so easily. If he joins the crowd, they too will follow. Getting out through the castle gate will not be easy either. Will the gatekeepers be so gullible? Won't they find themselves and stop them? However, it is worth making an effort, there is no other way. There is no one as foolish as himself if he does not use this way which God has shown him. As usual, he looked at those behind him and asked, What crowd is this? Vandiyathevan asked. When he said Vilakara force, he asked for details about that force. He said that he also wanted to join such a heroic army and therefore wanted to take a closer look. Talking like this, he approached the Vilakara army. After a while, he joined the Vilakara troop meeting, saying, I want to see those who beat the Terra in front. As the crowd moved up, he too was moving up and down and across and back and forth without stopping. He chanted slogans with more enthusiasm than the Veleka soldiers. Some of those soldiers stared at him. Who is this madman? Some saw in the use of looks like a drunk. Some saw in the use of but no one tried to stop him or dislodge him. The men of Chinapulvatere who came with him did not dare to enter the Vilakara army. They were moving slightly away from the side of the Vilakara force, hoping that he would come out anyway, and then retake it. At that time, a woman who was coming along the street with a basket of curds stopped in an alley aside from the band of guards. One of the soldiers asked, Mother! I'm thirsty, can you give me some curd? The woman snapped, No curd, I'll give you two slaps on the cheek if you want. She said. A warrior heard this and said, Oko! Give it away! He approached the woman. The curd girl ran away in fear. The warrior chased after her. Two more soldiers ran to catch her. No one knew what was going on as all the runners were shouting and shouting in different ways. Everyone thought that it was only to mash. Valavarayan was watching all this. In that one moment he came to a decision in his mind. We have already seen many times that Vandiyathevan is synonymous with deciding and carrying out the decision. It is against his nature to hesitate after deciding. So, run. Run, hold, hold. Vandiyadeva came shouting and ran after the people who were chasing the curd girl. The girl ran a short distance and turned into a narrow alley. When those who ran after went there and looked, they did not see the curd girl. She disappeared magically. The soldiers who had come in pursuit did not care about her then, they are back. Only Vandiyathevan did not return. He ran further through the alley the woman had entered. Wasn't sunset the time when the Veleka army normally left the fort? The alleys that Vandiyathevan had just entered were already dark. There were walls on both sides at some places. In some places there was a thick hedge of plants and vines. Vandiyathevan kept going without stopping anywhere. He didn't care about the direction. If you enter through the alleys instead of the main roads, you will have to reach the outer edge of the fort anyway. After reaching the fort wall you can decide what to do later. All night is the time to think and come up with strategies. It was getting pretty dark for a while. His path eventually came to a wall. Walking in the dark, Vandiyadeva lightly bumped into the printer. Only the wall was known. No one knows what kind of wall it is and how high it is. Probably it was the wall of the fort. So it is better to sit here. Soon the moon will rise. Then you can see. Until then, there couldn't be a better place to hide. All this time the men of Chinapulvatariyar would have gone back and said. The fort commander would have sent his men on all four sides. 
he also suspected that he might have left with the Vilakara army. They are looking for themselves inside and outside the fort. Let us search, let us search, let's search well. If I don't trick them all and escape from this castle, I'm not a monkey. My name is not Van Diathavan. But when the moon rises and the moon begins to set, the people of Palyavetare will also be comfortable. Even if they come here in search of themselves, they will come. If it comes, let it come, let it come freely, if he hides in this dense grove, who can search and find him? Thinking like this, Vandiyadeva sat leaning on the wall. Although he was not a young boy and was tired from wandering all day, he rolled his eyes and fell asleep. The sound of the tree branches swaying in the breeze and rubbing against each other was as mesmerizing as a lullaby. He just fell asleep. When he awoke from his sleep, the moon had risen a little way up in the lower sky. The moonlight came through the thick branches of the trees and half showed him the surrounding scenes. Vandiyathevan remembered his position. To his surprise, he fell asleep leaning against the wall. It was more surprising that Twil woke up. What was the reason that made him wake up by removing his hair? Did it seem like you heard a voice? Is it a human voice? Or the voice of an animal? Or the voice of a bird that wakes you up in the night? Is the voice heard true? Vandiyathevan looked up. A steep wall was visible in the dim moonlight. Cow! It could not have been a fort wall, the fort wall is still high. Perhaps another smaller bastion wall within the outer bastion wall? Or the wall of a great palace garden? Vandiyathevan woke up looking at Anantu. For a moment his heart stopped beating. The intestines in the stomach were blocked up to the chest. There was so much panic. What is that on the branch above the wall? He also remembered many stories he had heard about Vidalam, a devil living in trees. But does Vidalam speak? Does it speak with a human voice? Does it also speak in a woman's voice? Does this scripture speak so? Let's ask what it says. What sir? Have you fallen asleep leaning against the wall? How many times have you been calling? Cow! This is not Vidalam. It is the lady of mankind who speaks. The one sitting on the tree branch is a lady. What dream is this? Or is it really happening? It's beautiful. It looks like you haven't fallen asleep yet. Here I'll put the ladder. Climb up carefully. Don't fall down and get lost. Saying this, the woman took a thin bamboo ladder from the inside of the wall and placed it outside by the side of the wall. Vandiyathevan did not understand anything. But will he let go of such a rare opportunity a chance that has come to him? Let it come, then let what happens happen. Now let's climb this ladder, after reaching the top of the wall you can ask for other details. When he was three quarters of the way up the ladder, the woman said again, You good latecomer. There is the younger queen waiting. Here you are leaning against the wall and sleeping. She said. Due to the shock, Vandiyathevan slipped and fell from the ladder. Fortunately, he managed to hold on to the stone that was sticking out of the wall there. If the youngest Rani, Pavur will be the youngest Rani. How did she know I came and sat here? Magic is something she must know. Why is she having so much trouble seeing herself? Perhaps perhaps I have climbed a ladder meant for someone else? Be that as it may. You can't put a leg in front of you. Everything will be known in a short time. When she reached the top of the wall, she grabbed his hand and pulled him away. Then the moonlight hit her face. By this time Vandiyadeva had lost the power of wonder. That's why her face looks like the face of a curd carrier chased by Veleka soldiers, and he doesn't fall off the wall. There is no room for surprise, no matter what other amazing events happen tonight. Hmm. Why are you awake and sitting on top of the wall? Get the ladder down and jump in quick. Saying that, the woman glided down from the tree branch. Vandiyathevan did as she said. The place where he landed turned out to be a vast garden. A short distance away, the garret towers and peaks of a great palace looked like a dream world seen in the pale moonlight. 
Vandiyadeva cleared his throat to ask whose palace it was. Immediately the woman said Ugh, put her finger to her lips in warning and walked ahead. Vandiyathevan followed her.